In this video, I will show you my workaround for the multi-state object positioning problem in Adobe Captivate 9. Okay, let's get started here. This should be a very quick video. Many of you have complained. I've seen it on the forums. I've seen it on other websites as well. That one of the problems with multi-state objects in Adobe Captivate 9 is this issue, and I will attempt to show it to you. I've been waiting for it to happen to me, and today it's happened to me. So uh, I've got this return to review button here, and if I go into the object state and I just simply select rollover, you can see that the, the button itself is fine, but the text has been shoved way off and to the right, and I suspect it's probably on the down state as well. So simply put, and I know this is not the ideal the, uh, solution, of course, the ideal solution would be for the software to simply work as expected, but if you're running into this problem, get your buttons to the final position that they're going to be. That's, I find, the important step because as soon as you move them, that's when this happens. So once you've selected the position that your button's going to be located, simply go to the other states and delete them. And uh, this will leave you with the next, the rollover. I'm going to delete this and then create those new states as I need them. So I'm going to create a new inbuilt rollover state and an inbuilt down state for this button. And now, of course, I have them and I can modify the, uh, the rollover effect as needed. I think it was just simply a flip-flop of the uh, gradation here. Maybe you change the text and so on. But that's the key thing. Get the button in the final position that it's going to be located, select it on your stage or select it from your timeline, delete the additional states, and then recreate them. And uh, I wish it was a better solution, and hopefully Adobe will come out with a better solution, but this is my workaround for right now. Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was useful or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.